it almost feels unnatural. It do, for me. It definitely feels unnatural. You gotta slow yourself down to a point where you damn it, like, am I, am I like a, am I, like, I can't say that word in today's time, but am I that? Because if you feel like when you really in a good take, it feels like you just, it's just flowing. I'm like, is it, is it flowing? It feels like, it's like I have to work harder when I'm doing the movies. <laughs> Nah, cause yeah, it, cause I'm telling you, you gotta slow down. Like you gotta be able to speed up. What you bring? Every conversation, the phase in relationships. We the topic of discussion. What's the gossip? Who she love on? This tea get hotter when you touch it. Forget about that he say and that she say. Tell me what the streets say. Got them tuned in, they running back. Just like a DJ. What you bring to the table? Welcome back to the reality table with your host, the biggest, the biggest, <laughs> <laughs> big Lex in the building. And my co-host actually today, my brother's on the jet somewhere, you know, so had to bring in the second part of Relationships Matter, Miss Chanel. Tell him how you doing, Chanel? I'm doing it's great. It's been a minute. I'm doing great. Thank yeah. you for having me. Appreciate you. I want to thank my special guest, the one and only. Go ahead, Juicy. Yeah. Miss Juicy, baby. No, she coming back in time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and look, this guy, man, I just found him on a boat last week, you know. <laughs> my boy, Karan. Y'all say hey to Karan. What up, though? Peace and love. Yeah. And Big Trap, Big Fit, big, the biggest of everything. Trap, Trap, tell him what you got going on. What up, world? It's your boy DJ, your favorite trainer's favorite <laughs> trainer, man. Listen up. I'm ready to get into it. Let's go. Where are we going? So, so guys. <laughs> Y'all ready? Is Juicy going to sit back for me? Quick? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sitting back. Okay. <laughs> the topic is manipulation mm. when dating. Mm. Mm. How many folks we got married up here? We got Karan, he's married, and Mr. Trap. Oh, the guys. Hilarious, <laughs> right. We got the guys, the married guys. Celebrating 10 years this year. 10 How many years. single women we got up here? Miss mm. Juicy, <laughs> baby. <laughs> so look, there's a couple of questions I'm going to ask. I'm going to throw them out real quick, and then we're going to talk about it. Let's get All it. Right. Recognizing signs of, a mani of manipulation. Understanding power imbalances. So how power imbalances can contribute to manipulative behavior in relationships and the importance of mutual respect and equality. Establishing healthy boundaries, consent and manipulation, and healthy communication. So let's start with the first one. Mm. Recognizing signs of manipulation when you're dating. So I want the guys to tune in, tap in, because I know for me, um, 37, single, no kids, could have been married. <laughs> I'm straight. Um, <laughs> the thing that, that's bothering me is, you know, we're in Atlanta. Let's just really talk about it. Um, we don't, we don't want to go into uh, dating in Atlanta because at this point it's just everybody that flew in and lived here. Um, would you say that you played a part? I'm actually first big trap. Okay. And manipulation when dating, and please tell me why and what why you did it, uh, what you got out of it, and what is the point of it? I mean, mm. the point is just being the master of you, being in control. Uh, men are egotistical. Right. So our egos flare out and we want to be in control of every situation, mm. especially the relationship, especially women, especially Atlanta. Right. When you got less men, more women. Right. So uh, women are looking for catches in Atlanta, Georgia. And we play into that. Right. We know we're catches. Right. We know that. We know that before. We know that. Before, <laughs> we know that before we meet y'all. Y'all are like, oh, man, a quarter of them got AIDS. The other quarter in jail. Where you get them stats from? Look, I'm just, I'm so good numbers though. These are close. They're close. And they sound about right. I'm, I'm it's crazy. It's crazy. A quarter of them got AIDS, a quarter of them in jail, the other quarter ain't shit. And then you got a quarter hustlers, you got a quarter entrepreneurs, and I'm a quarter hardworking men, mm -hmm. right? Loyal, faithful, married men, right? Mm -hmm. So you got a whole lot, like you just said, y'all raise your hand, y'all single women. Y'all looking for that quarter. I ain't looking for shit. Well, you may not be, uh, but okay. it's women out here in Atlanta, Georgia. We're speaking of this city because you spoke on it. Y'all out here looking for that quarter of men. So let me let me pause you real quick. Go you ahead. got a little too, too targeted. You said we're looking. 
So at the end of the day, we're humans, right? Mm -hmm. We want to be with someone that's genuine. Right. So I guess I'm going back. Let me revert back to the question. Talk to me. How can you distinguish manipulation and dating with someone that's genuine? And I'm going to say that because when I put myself out there, it's genuine. I'm not looking for nothing. I, I got my own. I don't need no man to take care of me. Mm -hmm. I don't need nothing. I'm, I'm solid. Played six years overseas. Cool. Perfect person. Cool. Banked. Cool. I just want to build with someone, right. but the right person. Mm -hmm. right. So my question to you is, how do you decipher manipulation when you're dating someone versus genuinely liking someone? You're the perfect person. Oh. If I'm not interested in being in a, like you just said, I could have been married. I'm cool. Most men think that way. I can be married. I'm cool. Right? Been overseas, played six years, probably got a little money on, probably got good credit, probably got your own house, probably got a car, a couple cars. Probably got a little money and don't mind spending it on me. Right? <laughs> You're the perfect person to right. manipulate. <laughs> right? I'm just telling you how men think in this city. The quarter that you guys, again, are looking for. That's how we think. We got access to every... You just gave me access to your whole portfolio. But you can tell by the intent. Because mm. nowadays, men do not... They don't hold back. They tell you, mm. I'm friends with her, her, her. Either you cool with it or you move on. Right. Right? Right. And so here in Atlanta, that's how they, they manipulate in that they know that we're looking. But is that manipulation? Because we're telling you the truth. I See, let me tell you something. Oh, like this. oh here we go. Oh. This whole thing. <laughs> this. No, because people, <laughs> men nowadays, they use this whole idea of I'm telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. That's manipulation, in mm -hmm. my opinion. Okay. Because just because you told me the truth doesn't make it okay. That part. But I gave if you a I, choice. If, if you don't get my buy-in. And the problem that I have with the whole dating idea in Atlanta is that you got to get my buy-in. If I say to you, I'm not into the whole idea of multiple dating, right. and then you continue to pursue me, even though I have said it on a public platform, I have said it in private, and then you still choose to put me in that situation without my buy-in, that is manipulation. That's true. Right. And see, with social media nowadays, I had a situation where I'm just flipping through stories. Right. This guy, he say, can I take you out? Cool. He trying to impress, paying for everything, paying for my parking, paying for my food. I'm like, all right, I'm going. It's Christmas time. Right. And I'm like, OK, that's family because they look alike. <laughs> that's family. But she ain't family. She ain't family. <laughs> she ain't family. And I clicked the link and I started scrolling through. I went all the way back to February. It's December. Oh. They went on a trip out of the country. I said, I thought I told this dude that I don't do this. Mm -hmm. Like, because you're jeopardizing everything that I work for by putting me in a compromising situation where someone that's can approach me, walk up to me on the street, ask me questions about you. You know, I ain't always been this put together i pop off you catch me off guard so don't put me don't put me in that situation to act out and men just don't listen to us these days they do not they manipulate the situation to get what they want and it's just not right mm. Mm. man that's deep. You gotta respect that. No way in here, you. You gotta you respect that. Bitch. I'm, I'm, hey. I'm, I'm amazed. You went all the like, way. Wow. You gotta respect that. that. I'm just sitting here thankful of my for a little 16 years. I've been married. <laughs> I swear, I'm feeling like, damn, 16. I'm like, man. See, but I, did you play a role? So look, I know you no, married. I'll be honest. Though, yeah. I didn't really manipulate when I was dating, back when I was in because I was really that guy back then about being who I was. Like, I would tell a woman straight up, love me now because when we away from each other, you gotta love yourself because I'm doing me. Mm. Period. Straight what that mean? Front. That means, baby, when we together, we together. But when we not, we not. But when we not. Ooh, <laughs> I have more house college. Real talk. Real talk. Real talk. Ooh, real talk. Because you a football player, though. Well, it was just, I was, man, just, I was, I was at the point where I was like, look, man, I don't want nobody caught up in nothing. And I would never do nothing to make mm. them feel bad. And then I wouldn't pursue no more if it was nothing to it. It was like, cool. It's all good. Like, we can just have fun. It's whatever. I'm chilling. It's whatever. I'm just letting you know where I'm at. When you graduated from Morehouse? Minnesota. Minnesota. I graduated from Minnesota. You didn't go to Morehouse? Never. You didn't play football? Not in Minnesota. Why I'm thinking you play? You must have been in a movie. <laughs> nah, I, I played in a lot of movies. I played in this Minnesota. No, no. Minnesota. <laughs> Wow, Red Bay, Minnesota. So yeah, yeah so it wasn't, it wasn't even that whole much to play with Minnesota like that. It was Minnesota. So it was University of Minnesota. Yeah, University I knew of Minnesota. that. I knew See, when you want a ball, when you a ball player though, they just want a piece of the pie. They See, they, they, <laughs> they 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 just want to have. They want to be. They want that influence. We they want to go out. Why I, I was why always else? like, I don't know, yo, I don't know why you thought that. That's but crazy. I was. Look. Let's stay on the topic. Okay. <laughs> so, 
Some some name, right? We gotta finish. Let me it's help y'all. Yeah, that's still on topic because I I miss Ron and forget what we talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Relation in relationships. So yeah, so that's why I wasn't really that guy. I was just really upfront about everything. I was cool, like. But you don't think you was using your status to manipulate? The no, situation? because I never used the status to even. When did you graduate again? I never used the status to get in the situation. When did you graduate? Like when what? girls met me, I would never. I don't play in the league. I don't do none of this. I'm Karan. Mm-hmm. How are you? What is your name? So they didn't know you was a ball player. I don't know what they know. They no, definitely you know they didn't know you. No, I don't. You <laughs> can't. See, I, that, I, I, that, I, that'd be the I, dumb. That was that'd be the dumb. I have never dumb. assumed anything. Let me say something. Uh, most hardworking men that you talking about, not you can't just roll up on a woman talking about. I want to have. I'm. I'm just having fun. He played football I'm too. You know, I'm with you. Like, you no, yeah. 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 he got that like, big like, trap. Actually, <laughs> to get away with that. He but most working most now. Today is a little bit different. It's way but different. back in the day, yeah, back in the day, of my when I was coming up, because I'm a little yeah. older. Like you couldn't just tell me, you know, I'm having fun and you know we together, and, and when we're not together, we're not together. That one gonna fly. I, I Wait, think, hold on, I hold think, on, hold on. I think on. back then it worked even more so because that wasn't the norm back then. What's People, back then? I just asked when you graduated. Back then, two thousand and one from college. I'm forty five. When you graduated? Two thousand and five from college. Two thousand and one from high school. Oh, I'm ninety six from high school. When he tell his crazy story, go ahead. Hey, tell his wild story. Right. So no, hey, make real. sure you ain't had no drink. I ain't got time <laughs> to deal with the repercussions. <laughs> Y'all know how Trump get out of here. Got <laughs> time. So these boys. So let's, listen. Let's just make it make sense. These two played football. These two could have played professional football. I did play did professional play football. football. Well, I know you played professional. I said that because he didn't, but he could have. <laughs> But you put you put, put But me you know what I mean. So I, but the senders had me included. Cut, man, in the I don't know why. So listen, pro, <laughs> pro, <laughs> pro. We all pro, right? This one over here chose to be with his family instead of playing professional. Wow. It's a few people that do that. It's a good move. But also, you know, we're not gonna get back into the other episode because he was on one. But you know, I want somebody between the both of y'all to tell the truth when it comes to dating someone. It ain't got to be in Atlanta. But the manipulation that you play with dating someone for what, for why, whatever. But why? I just told you, it's ego. I wanted it all from everybody. Every girl. I wanted it all from everybody. At that time, you got to understand, I'm young. I'm flashy. I'm fly. Right? So, I'm, I'm every girl. That's what I'm, you said. No, go ahead. I'm just saying, oh. at that time, that's my mindset. Right? right? So, I wanted it all. If, if you want to be a part of what I got going on, I'm moving. I got motion. You you work. <laughs> I'm I'm a real. I got real motion out here. So if you want to be a part motion. of what I got, you got to get on. The, you got to get on board. Well, I stay with motion, but what that means? Because <laughs> the, the point I'm saying is, you can't build. Listen, I ain't gonna cap on you. We ain't talking about building. We talking about manipulating. <laughs> okay, well we gonna mix it all in. Stay on topic. Way to stay on topic. Stay on topic, King. Yeah, we're not talking about, about building. We're talking about manipulating. Here, put her here. We're making yeah, our species proud today. I'm here and we're she's here. here. Yeah, that's we already did that. But yeah. what if we here? We all here. That wasn't you asked me. Listen, now I'm asking you again. What if we all here? That's a different. That's a different. So why are we manipulating? So now that's what if I'm more here? That's the 2024. What if I'm here? You here? Yeah, because you've been here and they still. The 2024. Atlanta, women yes. are here, men yep. are here, or women are here and men are here. Yep. And yeah. That's change. what we're dealing with now. Yeah. Which one? Change. Where's the women? The, the women, women, women are, are here. here. Or I, I, no, I, I will say the I say across the board, the women are above the men. Absolutely. In Atlanta, which means the women are above the men in the world. Absolutely. Because Atlanta sets the standard for the world. If right. you really just pay attention to the world, because why? Because it's an epicenter of black excellence. But we were talking about 01 so, and 05. So I was, I was giving you where I were then. Yeah. If you would have asked me that same question, it now, was a different world. It's a different world. It was a different world. Yeah, probably, it was, it was probably world. even back then, mm-hmm. and we was maybe still a maybe a tad bit ahead <laughs> back then. We <laughs> wasn't driving forklifts. Me and you had motion. Yeah, we had motion. So it wasn't even. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to get to. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It wasn't it even at all, bro. It it's still not even. <laughs> if you want to be in my section, it's popping bottles, even. eating shrimp and yeah. lobster tails and all the stuff that we were doing. I never thought it was even, even I was you in see like them? third it's, grade. It's not even. <laughs> I just always looked at the world from a certain perspective and it was always like, look, I, I'm afforded pretty much whatever I want, so I don't have to ever be needy or greedy about right. any of it. Right. So it was always, I'm just here to have a good time. Mm. Let's live. And we That's the part he told the truth on. I'm here to have a good time. Yeah. It's my way or no way. 
No, it was never. It was never. It was never my way no, or no way. It was, way it was no just. Way. It was just. He didn't say that. It I said no compromise. That. It wasn't about compromising for me. It was more like I'm a really driven young man. I'm a working my way to get to the NFL. I don't have a lot of time for a lot of distractions. A love being one of them. Let's be honest. I you if you're gonna be a pro athlete, you don't have time for love. You don't have time for a lot of the bullshit that comes along with all that kind of world. So I had a different drive and a different focus. So for me, it was like, look, I'm in this club. I've been working out all week, I'm letting off a little steam. <laughs> Do you have some steam to let off? We can let some steam off tonight together, or not? I'm gonna be fine because if you don't want steam, to, steam. What do. I think you say? I would turn around and some more steam would be right here. Right. She do. Hey, steam. <laughs> you like steaming? Hey, steam. Oh, oh there was my. never. I was a king, so and, it's, and it's been my whole way. My most of, since I hit puberty in my life, say. my body yeah. and everything changed. It was like, yo, okay, this is what the world does but for it, you. It is your way or no way. Because if she wanted to be with you, she had to play it your way. And we're only talking about that time. My, hey, I'm my, that my, time. my, my <laughs> only rule, and it's always been my only rule. It's the only rule. It's just have fun. That's it. That's it. I don't. I'm not here to do none of the book. None of the. So I'm never manipulating. I want. I want you to be yourself. I want you to have fun. Let's have fun. I was manipulating. Whatever you want to give me, I want. <laughs> no, I'm cool. I was. I, I guess I, you can say me. I was manipulating if I was just grass, living in cash, my in my kid grass. self, like I've always done to this day. Like I'm gonna always just be me through and through. And I'm never gonna put nothing on it. I'm never gonna do more for it to, to impress more one way, left or right. Mm. I'm just gonna go with the flow. Mm. And I tossed. I was learned a long time ago. Mm. Women choose you. You don't choose That's them. That's facts. Mm. That boy dropping bars. So for mm. me, I'm not out here doing nothing but okay. being me. They gonna choose. And you gonna like make the that. decision. And if we're compatible at that level, yes, we could start with some steam at that point. And if it grows into more, steam. then we grow into more. I'm a hope of romantic in my heart anyway. So mm. I fell in love five times a week. <laughs> I did. It's true life. And that's really me being who I was. I'm just a genuine person. I live on my heart. That's why I'm an actor now. Mm -hmm. I'm an emotional man. So would you say that, because listen, I didn't have my experiences. Would you say that most of the guys who date, not you, um, that are actors, manipulate when they date because they're great actors? Because I done dealt wow. with some. I think I think it all comes down to the root of not what we do or who what you do. It comes to who you are. Me, I've always been confident in who I am without any of the, anything I do outside of who I am. You is you. But I know. I'm I get that. So actors, it's actors. hard for me to even speak from anywhere he, he from who I'm not. Give you his perspective. Yeah. And I'm and I'm grounded in that. I can make an assumption of what that is. And anything outside of being your true, authentic self is an insecurity in that person. Mm. Mm -hmm. Period. If I got to lie to you for for me for you to like oh, me, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Then I don't believe in all of me. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing not only you a disservice, I'm doing myself you know, a bigger disservice. So anybody who's been in your lives who just wasn't 100% with you, you got to look at it like they're they not 100% they not with themselves. Exactly. That's more detriment and more painful than anything. Mm -hmm. And what you're running into is you are 100% authentic you. So what you got to do is just believe in that true and true and let whatever you're going to have pull to you. And you're going to find yourself around the kind of, you probably already around the, the man you're supposed to be with. I know it. Oh, that's just life. You and just... you're the host, but can I ask Miss Chanel a question? Because <laughs> I, I, I want you to chime back in on that because no, he, he literally just want. said what she spoke that was on smart. earlier. No, no, that was that was right. Good. So that he was just good. said, "I am my true, authentic <laughs> self. I can only give you me." Mm -hmm. When he tells you the truth, right? Mm -hmm. You say that's still manipulation. No, that's I what feel, you said. I feel like that's not what she said. That is what yeah, she said. No, no, but that's not what she meant. That's a, that's if he has my buy-in. Okay. The issue with us women is that we're so desperate for a relationship. I ain't. I ain't. I'm just saying in general. I'm talking oh. like, I'm not talking about today, guys. Okay. I'm talking about in general. 2001, mm -hmm. 97 right. for me, right. graduating out of college. Right. Um, so desperate because like you said, back then it was like this, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. when it's like this, we attach our value and live vicariously through those relationships. So for me back then, I dated athletes. That's mm. what I dated, Child, right? And I would attach my value, and they would be free flowing like you, just a free spirit. And it's like <laughs> I felt like I had I to go along with it back then. if I wanted to be a part. Or if not, <laughs> then I had to cut myself out. Right. Now the problem is, we can have fun today, but then my, in my mind back then, I'm like, what about tomorrow? See, that's your problem. What's the, let's live right now. <laughs> that was my line. Hey, baby, what are you talking about tomorrow? The moment. Wait, tomorrow. The moment. You know, through all that the whole vibe of now. What about tomorrow? Baby, we won't play. We, we won't play. We would now, one I'll play give you a run for your right. money today, baby. But we play one play at a time. I wish I could go back. What's the, what's the best years. athlete in the world playing? What they always say? 
One play at a time. One what happened? Yet? What happened that last play don't even exist no more. Right. Right. He right. I could have right. been. I could have missed the first twenty shots. If I'm a shooter, I'm gonna keep shooting. Look at he swear been. he can hoop though. Oh come on, play with <laughs> me. You better, you better. You better Google me. I just when I say manipulation in this context, it's like. Cause you 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 be lying to yourself if you didn't think that women would attach themselves to you because of who you are, right. and some men use that to their advantage. They they may not ever say it mm. because that's who they are, if right? You, you can't change who yeah, you are, you but that. you use it, you know, to 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 lure women to bring them in. So you true. know they want to be a part of it, and you are you are very comfortable saying. This is who I am. Let's have fun. Let's let off some steam. When if you wasn't that person, mm. you would not have that same advantage. You just wouldn't. That sounds like a, a whole different kind of movie, though, because like I am that. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, how do we even go? Like, what? Are, so you if I it. was this and this and that, yeah, we could play you that game all day. I don't like think I used to my best because again, I never even moved like that other. I moved like I was a superstar, whether I was a superstar or not. Okay. okay. My NFL career, okay, let's put it on the record, like ain't that. nothing to write home about to nobody. I wouldn't put that story up against the damn worst Sesame Street nah, story. No, that's, that's an accomplishment. It's though. an Everybody accomplishment, but it. I got levels of accomplishment, too. That's how I understand with myself. Hmm. So you can't, the world can't gas me. Mm. But you do know you would not have the same opportunities if you was not the football player. I no, just want to I wouldn't have the same opportunities. I didn't work my ass off. Right. So I know. So you you're speaking like it. something was given to me. Come on with it. Like everything I am, I have earned through and through. So okay. if, yes, like if that. that is my standard with a woman, that is going to be the standard. I'll live and die on that, and every woman and man should live like that. But you do. I'm just saying you do acknowledge that that has afforded you opportunities that the regular. The man who gets up in the this morning and goes to the nine correct. to five does not have. I'm gonna be honest. Don't with look you. at your clock. I, like would, I wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't have <laughs> hit half the dimes I hit if it wasn't for my <laughs> football story. <laughs> if it wasn't for my athlete. Mm -hmm. athletic stories mm -hmm. and all of that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes, I wouldn't have crossed paths with some of the women I crossed paths with. I understand exactly what you're saying. You're absolutely right. But I'm sitting here talking to you. We just met an hour ago. Right. I know from fact on fact, me and you got a lot more in common than we play football. Absolutely. Right? That part. Yeah. Absolutely. So that tells me right off the top, you was going to be afforded the same group of people regardless. Right. Don't sell yourself short and attached to what you do. She's Say, talking about 2001. See, I have had the experience of dating a college basketball player right. who was drafted number four mm. and changed literally Overnight. You don't say his name. Like, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. Drop the line. I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, no, literally, this boy went from me paying the phone bill because we both in college to now he got a $42 million contract. And I watched the change overnight. So he was I watched who the, he was initially. He wasn't mm -hmm. all big person from the jump. From somewhere because if some no money, because if yeah. some money gonna turn then, you into somebody completely money different, can't change a real. you never was the, that person anyway. Mm. But I'm saying that this happens more often yeah, than not. Yeah, it does. Not. That's it what does. I'm saying. That's I the reality. Agree. I get it. I, get I it. agree. And when you in it, you can't see that. Now I'm looking back 20 years ago. I, I yeah. see that now. Yeah. Yeah. But back then, you can't see it. No, I mean, that's why they say hindsight is 2020. I mean, if we know what we knew... Mm. Now, then, <laughs> yes, God, we would I would all be further along everywhere along the way, but unfortunately, that ain't how the world is drawn Absolutely. up. So, I think we yeah. all got to stay remember to just stay mm -hmm. open and be based in learning as we go through this experience and look at every experience as something that's given to us versus taken away from us. You know what I'm saying? Like, every man you meet that's a deficit, don't look at that man as a deficit, look at something you got to find in yourself that's a deficit because mm. something attracted that man to you, mm. period. Period. So if he's at deficit, there's some deficit in you. We just all got to start taking accountability for ourselves. That's true. Yeah. Because our world is what we create in our minds, our mouths, and our spirits, period. That's correct. So if you're thinking that. something constantly, I, I, I keep having the worst case with these men. You constantly saying that with your mouth. You're starting to feel that with your spirit. You're going to attract the kind of man that's going to keep that experience relative in your life. Mm -hmm. So we got to start changing our thoughts, our mouth, and our spirits, and then keep doing the work for ourselves to find every learn every elephant that we all have in us we all got fucking insecurities we mm -hmm. all got things that we've had to deal with that our parents caused us our coach caused us mm -hmm. some woman caused us some man caused us some damn dog that we saw across the street <laughs> caused us right but at some point we have got to start taking accountability for our shit mm -hmm. and saying okay guys how long can the same Shit keeps going. Keep on. Keep hitting on. me in the head and, and before I say, damn, 
Maybe it's something about me that's attracting right. this situation. Attract, attracting ain't shit niggas. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to then say this. But is it me... ain't shit niggas or is it grace? Because you could go through some stuff. I know me personally, I went through a lot of stuff playing ball and then transition. The transition is different. It's a lot. Everybody don't transition correctly. Right. right. So I transition correctly, but I can give you a, a you 10 and hands. Both. You and I both. Right? Of people that didn't. Yeah. So now when you give someone grace... It's the difference between grace, the transition, and just an ain't shit nigga. Because you're giving them grace because they're transitioning from where you transition from. Mm-hmm. But what we're learning is that is part of the manipulation too. I'm telling you because I play both fields. I play both fields, meaning not not, not both ways. Mm-hmm. Meaning, <laughs> you got you to you you clear it up. Yeah, clear that you got to clear everything up. Not these both days. ways. Your best friend be but, trending tomorrow. Right. Both fields meaning we like. Knew it. <laughs> I'm a female. I played pro ball. I went overseas six years. I played in five different countries. I played at the highest level I could play. I played. I got overseas by playing uh, on Atlanta Dream practice team. The point I'm making is, I didn't date athletes. I didn't date actors. I didn't date regular people. I didn't date fucking Taco Mac manager. I, I didn't gave everybody an opportunity, but I also gave grace. Because I didn't work a nine to five. I didn't work the eight to five. I work eight to five now, but I'm an entrepreneur. I work for myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? I quit my job to work for myself now, a month ago. Right. Making more money probably than I ever made in my life and doing a reality table. Drop, 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 <laughs> drop, drop. But the point I'm making is in that process, if you've seen it, you've seen it on television, mm-hmm. you've seen it. I dated a nigga that went and ate shit, nigga. Mm-hmm. Cameras turn different when them cameras come, cut on. Mm-hmm. I don't care what y'all choose to believe what was real in that situation, because mm-hmm. there was realness in that situation. Right. But the point of the matter is, he was an ain't shit nigga, and a person still carrying on what they did 20 years ago, that shit ain't relevant now. <laughs> we got to pay bills. I'm paying all these bills. You understand what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I don't need you to pay the bills. That's not the point. The point is, what you bring into... You what you bring to the nigga, table? What is it? Define ain't shit. Nigga. So I feel like an ain't shit n word is uh. I'm sorry. No, no, we are gonna bleep it. Uh, I feel like an ain't shit nigga just keeping it a book. Uh, I don't feel like you have to make more money than me. Right. Mm-hmm. So let's let's put that on the table. That's why I said I give grace because a lot of things that I'm opportunist or uh, opportunity to have is because I'm a female and I'm a retired athlete. That is true. Or because I did the television show. That is true. These are true facts. Mm-hmm. So if I'm dealing with someone who might have had a rougher time because I know I got the the leverage to kind of win something, I'm like, hey, just do your part. You don't have to be nobody you don't want to be. So if, if we, let's just say hypothetically, we move in together, just pay utilities. I'm that, I'm that cool. I'll take on a boatload of shit. Just pay the utilities. We ain't got nothing else to talk about. But now when you start questioning where I spend my money, when you start questioning... Or asking to borrow money when you're paying utility. We're talking about a minimum five, four, five hundred dollars. Or when you start getting into my pockets. Now, mind you, we a unit. So you already got access to my pocket. So you know what's coming in and out. And I and I'm very freely about that, even though I shouldn't be. The point is, an ain't shit nigga is when somebody's trying to lead, but they ain't got nothing to lead with. Mm-mm. You about to lead me in a fucking ditch. Because I see what the fuck you got going on. I just that's when I draw the line. Hey. Hey, hey now, hey now. Grace has ran its part, has ran its, you know, and, and you know me, y'all, you know me, Chanel. I will give, you know me, I will give, 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 but now I got to sit back, hey, I mean, at one o'clock in the morning, sitting in the fire pit, hey, what we doing? What so we, stand on top of What are we doing? What are we doing? Are you being manipulated? I'm not, that's, but that's the mm. point. So I, the point, I, that's why this is a great topic. <laughs> the point I'm making to you is, is you he don't an know, shit nigga, or are you? You don't know what you get in until you move in with someone. That shit is over with. But I'm making a point to you don't know because you gave someone grace. You know, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, I, yeah. That, so, but so. I'm just making a point. You give someone grace. Right. You really like this person. You're not judging what they got or what they don't have. Cause what you ain't got, we got. Understand you understand what, what I'm saying? I'm asking you right quick, Lex. Is that manipulation? And that's my question to you guys. It is. And no, but I'm agreeing with you. But the question is, and I told you in the beginning when of the you segment. De- no, the question is, when do you decipher? Because you're in a situation. We talked about it on your Relationships Matter podcast, right? Yeah. You're in a situation. You're with someone. You've known them forever. 
Even if you don't know for that, you've known them for a long time. That y'all families know each other. Mm-hmm. Now you're in a situation, y'all situation, y'all together. You didn't heard stories from them from what happened in their past. They know stories what happened in your past. The question is, when do you decipher manipulation from genuine being genuine? Because because Give me one second, you don't right quick, know. Chanel. You I'm don't about know. To pick Juicy up and slide her back because I'm having to sit up to see. Oh, oh shit. I'm about to. <laughs> No, but the not. point is, the point is, you don't know. Like I, I guess I'm making my point to say is you don't know until you get into it. I right, have so. a question for you. What make you want to be with someone that you got to pay all the bills? No, I, no. So let me correct that. That was a different situation. I'm making a point to say if I'm in something, yeah. we in something. So we can talk about, when I talk about situations, like we talk about through the years. Okay. But I'm making a point to you. Like if I'm in something at this point, if I'm in something, we in something. Now I see red flags, and I choose which red flags to ignore because I give grace. I'm just making a point. I give grace because a lot of opportunity I'm granted with that person probably wasn't granted with, but I see the hustle in them. I see the drive. I see the think about it. We all did something I just right now. Think go back to your motives as to why you're with. Because I mean, I'll use myself as an example. Like I have been in situations where I have given more than what was poured into me, Mm. but it wasn't because I was extending grace. I was trying to garner their attention. You got to just keep it real. So then I ask again, what would make you want to be in a situation where you're bearing the brunt? We just different because I don't garner. I don't garner attention. I get it. So you just want to be with them because I think I think with that situation was history. It and was it, history. it was history, and yeah. I think okay. with that situation, yeah. it was knowledge of that situation he went through. Yeah. But I also think with that's that situation, true. I'm gonna make a point. And that's why he he can speak. So you're trying it. to save somebody? No, I'm not saving. Trying no. to save somebody. I know exactly I what she's talking about. So she's right. I, I get what okay. she's saying. Yeah, you can't. I'm making a point to say the topic was for a reason. You can't distinguish between manipulation versus grace, even in that, because you're dealing with someone you know. You know dealing- they. Now, let me tell you something. I, I just, I put it on me. But sometimes when a person know that you feel a certain type of way, you may have your own reasons for why you do what you do. But some people will manipulate the situation because they know you care for them. They know how you feel for them. So they're going to take whatever you're willing to offer. And sometimes it's too much. And, and I'm agreeing with will take you. It so they the go back to the original question. How do you know when you're being manipulated? You know. And no, you I'm, you know I, when you know when the situation when the person this. is taking. Hey, advantage. watch this, watch this. Would you have known that? I would have been the manipulator. I'm saying in my situation, would you have known? You wouldn't have known that, would you? Yeah, that, that's mm. what I said. The first question you asked me when we started the episode, I told you you give too much, mm. and you would be the perfect person to manipulate. Did I not say? Yeah, because if he was accepting, no, she said it. She I said I've been overseas. I did this. Yeah. I had this career. I, I'm established eight to five. But I hold on, let me pause you no. on that. That person never, at this point, never asked me for shit. I get that. They had everything the, he was willing to I get, get that. No, it ain't, he already had his own shit. It ain't deal. about asking because, again, I know who you're talking about. And you know I know who you're talking about. So what I'm trying to say, it ain't about him asking for shit. It's about you giving too much. Mm. He knows what he's accessible to. It ain't, I ain't got to ask for it if you're telling me what you got. I ain't, sometimes I don't you tell telling me what you did. You telling sometimes me what you did. You just told me I ain't got to do nothing to pay the utilities. I mean, you got something. Well, at that point, we live together. You just told me I ain't got to do nothing to pay the utilities. No, that, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was the other situation. You're not that telling me. That I, I'm, I'm that wasn't that situation. I know, but oh. just, just let me let me flow. That's you're not telling me I don't know the mortgage $3,500. You're not telling me I don't know the mortgage $3,500. Sam, I need a shot, King. You see what I'm saying? All I got to do is pay the utilities, the mortgage $3,500. We got three nice cars in the yard. I'm not wanting for nothing. I still got Louis Vuitton shoes on. I got clothes on my back. I don't have to ask you for nothing. That's different because I ain't had to tell you. Now, let me turn my manipulation mode on. Let me pour it on Mm -hmm. thick, right, bro? That's what I'm trying to get her to understand. No. You're wrong. Because you missed the point. You're talking about two different situations. The last situation, no, motherfucker paid everything. I just think you ain't told us that one yet. I, 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 think, I really think at the end of the day, I think at the end of the day, this story, yeah. I think manipulation occurs on both sides. It has to be yeah. two people playing the game right. for anything, any manipulation to happen. Mm-hmm. Because in order for you to be manipulated, you have to be a fool enough to get manipulated. Thank you. Thank because you. at the end of the day, a manipulation lie, occurs bro. after yeah, the fact you of you already, like you said, Appreciate witnessing you, red flags. Like for you me one. personally, oh, oh, it was a, never, a, it was never a thing for me to, you know, I wasn't, I would never. Okay, so I, I find a manipulation in my thing then. 
say for instance, we connected in, two, in one night, we be hanging out, we kicking one it. night. Yeah, because I live my Did life. Like that. Too? If you if 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 I if, <laughs> he's if been you, consistent with if that. If you didn't give me any red flags, he's been mm. consistent with one night. I once in I Minnesota, red flags is everywhere. If you should, if you give me a red flag that you insecure in yourself, I'm not dealing with you. Mm -hmm. I'm just not because I know it comes with insecure women. That comes with you calling me all the time. Mm. That comes with me giving you acting like you got no. I need you to be strong in yourself because I'm not giving you nothing to me. But, but tonight, he's been period. consistent with that the whole podcast. So he's you got to have your own it. stuff. So the polarity never changes. If I want you, I want you. And if you want me, you want me. Then it's this. We got a problem right now is our so. polarities is completely off. Mm -hmm. You giving too much of a positive and not getting enough of a negative back for you to really be attracted and for y'all to stay together. I'll so, be trying to fight. Yeah, that's the thing. Though. If you got somebody that who hasn't completely gotten to an accountability because as a man, I couldn't sit back and let you do all the stuff you was doing with me feeling, without me feeling some kind of way. Mm, right. Let me ask this one question. Right. And I know, Missionette, this, this is like what you do, right? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not that person, right? But this is what you do. So answer this question for me. Why do you guys make it easy for us to manipulate? Because we're manipulating you. Okay, talk it's to a, I mean, that's what mm, I was saying is manipulation both mm -hmm. ways. Sometimes when people give too much, it's a form of manipulation. You're trying to buy their emotion. You're trying to buy their attention. You you have a motive as to why you do what you do. Right. Like you're just not freely get. I don't know no one who just you just gonna free you just gonna pay all the bills. Like no, there's no I, motivation behind it. Clips. And any man to tell you though, really at the end of the day, the one that keeps our attention is the one who doesn't give us everything that makes us still have to hunt. Mm -hmm. That makes us still Absolutely. have to be a man mm -hmm. about everything Challenge. from at the end of the day. Like mm -hmm. even our wives, like my wife, my wife is an independent woman. She do her thing. She does her own. She does her own stuff. She kills. I mean, I'm proud of her. She does her own thing. Like I do my own thing. I couldn't have a woman who was sitting at the crib waiting on me to come home to tell her about all my victories of the day. I want to come home and talk about victories with you. What you win? You keep you, you, what you do, 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 do. What we doing? We doing this and then again. Boom, boom. Okay, and that's the kind of big world I like. Cause like again, team sports. Yeah. I like to be in the locker room. I like that that feeling of environment. We here mm -hmm. winning together. You do. You be dope. I be dope. Be dope together. Mm -hmm. And I think the problem when you be in the manipulation is when there's just an imbalance in power, imbalance in resources, an imbalance in, mm, in attitudes, imbalance. imbalance in maturity. Your problem is you've been all over the world. You have mm. a bigger worldview than most men you're going to run into in Atlanta. Mm. That's just real fucking talk. Mm. Sorry, but not sorry. And then that makes her give too much. Well, because she's trying to create the vision in her that, head, that yeah. but the man she's with is not capable of right. reaching her because he ain't been to five countries. Right. Do you understand the expansion of her mind, her spirit? Mm -hmm. Every time She's he, happy and he's not. Well, she just, her worldview has right. changed. That's how, this is how we right. all connect on the planet. Right. Our worldviews have to connect. They have nothing to do with you white, black, yellow, pink. If you got to break the same worldview as me, we can rock. Period. I don't really have no real other other understanding of that. But I, I'm always be with my people first and foremost. Mm. But worldview is important to me. That's true. But consistently, you're saying both parties have to be happy. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not my job it's, it, externally, to make you together, happy. And then you come together and you share your right. happiness. How the fuck am I gonna make you happy if you're not already happy? But right. that, but I they want might to be say with someone happy. who's happy already. I don't care what that is. Whatever that is, that could be an eight to five. That could be a talk show. That could be a podcast. It could be a movie role, or yeah, it could be it all be, that. Whatever it is, I don't. Long as you happy, when we get home, we're both happy. And if I you go to a bra and if you get happy at the brothel, make you happy if you're not you already happy. Be it's safe. It's good. <laughs> be, be safe, Jesus. Thing is, most women don't know they're not happy. That part. Well, because most things, most most problem is know. most women don't know what they want. They, and yeah. listen, I'm gonna tell you this because because you, you made a, you made a you ma true? no I listen. You she made a good point. Look, you know, you gotta know exactly what you want. Chanel made a good point. Let me let me let me tap into what I'm about to tap into. This is gonna get deep. Um, I didn't here. realize till I was out that situation that I was trying to take on a challenge because I'm a point guard or I was a point guard. I wanted to lead this ship to the goddamn championship. You understand what I'm saying? So that. it was more so me pouring in because I believe in this. I'm I'm I'm, I'm the coach. I'm I'm Caitlin Clark. I'm all these things because I'm like, yo, we got a chance to to be. Some, we got a chance to win a, the championship because he had good qualities. Now I'm not gonna say he an ain't shit nigga. I, I'm not gonna say no person I've dealt with was like that. But I want to say we all have our vices, mm -hmm. and his vices just was a bit too much for me. So let me ask you this. You, you as a person, I feel like you are a type of person who has a core, a core, like mm -hmm. a core set of things that no yep. matter what happens, because you was an athlete, you know what I'm saying? You have a different- So was he. So, okay, I get that. 
did he play in the pros? No. Did he go to five countries? No. <laughs> I mean, he right that. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> no, no, I get so, it. so 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 okay, yeah, he was an athlete, but he didn't have the same core you had as an athlete. Just to start there, oh, sure. let's yeah, just no, start there. That's different, yeah. Let's just start that athlete. Don't even go nowhere else. He didn't have the same core as an athlete as you had. Obviously, he wasn't getting up running extra sprints, doing the extra shit to get to where you got. That makes so sense. that right there is the beginning start stone of everything. If you ain't got that core right there, then there's nothing else to build on. Mm. How you gonna turn a how you gonna turn a basketball player who ain't a basketball player into a basketball player? Mm. It don't happen. Ooh, that boy put that thing together. So look, that's the best. That's just real talk. Look at real talk. This is what this is what happens when you get older. <laughs> You know, how, you, know how they have you know how they have DJ Clue bombs? You need a bomb for the <laughs> boom. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. You need that big bomb. bomb. <laughs> and really, at the end of the day, you really got to stick. And that's why I've always been like, my life is exactly how I drew it up. It ain't no accidents where I'm doing where I'm doing my life. Like, like even that. even through the rough times of my marriage, I could, we came through it and I realized I married the right woman. Mm. Like I didn't draw this up right, right, wrong. At the time you wanted, maybe I didn't draw this up right. You get through it. Damn. I love when the plan comes together. Mm. And that's just real talk because I've always been very intentional. I've been very solid of who I am. I know very, I've been very solid about when, how, where. If I'm gonna shut it down, I will know I'm gonna shut it down. I'm looking all the time in a way of being open to like tonight. I'm gonna be in love with you tonight. <laughs> you get you get through the night without getting me any red flags. We get tomorrow morning. Oh. We get through tomorrow morning without any red flags. We get tomorrow night. You can get through them first 72 hours, I'll give me any red flags. And I, you show me that you're not who we need to be at our core because I was very effusive about who I was in my core all the time. Mm. So like when you started dating me, you got the full Quran from jump. I didn't hide shit. So you get the full thing on the table. And I deal with this motherfucker. If you stick around for the first few days and you ain't gave me no red flags, if you're going to disturb my peace, then we can roll. Mm. And you let me be what I'm gonna be, and you stay attached to that. We gonna be fine forever. Hey, mm -hmm. look at Miss Juicy looking at you. Miss Juicy, how, what you got to say about what he said? Cause she's confused at this point. No, I'm not. I'm just saying, like with what you're saying, you give grace. Like I have a big heart as well, but you can't. You gotta know when to not not to give. You can't keep giving to somebody that's that you're imbalanced with, because that's where that's when you leaving it up to them. To manipulate you when you when you keep giving, 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 yeah. you got to know when to stop. <laughs> but you listen, you haven't been giving me... grace. You've been giving pity. Ooh. Grace is grace is saying we're not compatible, dear. Exactly. I wish you luck. I'm always around if you need me. Peace and love. That's mm. grace. Uh -uh. What you've been doing is pity. You've been taking these little puppies in, trying to raise men and be men, and that's not your job. Exactly. Well, you are an ex you are a, a, a high the value woman. Person to what, what, what's why guys came and said? Uh, so yeah. <laughs> you are a high value person. All you women on this panel are high value women. So you have a you have a very small group of men to pick from. That's just mm -hmm. keeping a buck. Twenty five percent. What I said. Earlier. It's a very. It's probably smaller than that. At the yeah. level these women are at. Right at the level that they are. You right. You know what I'm saying? You work at Wendy's. You got a big pool. Right. right. You go right down to Fulton no, County. I'm hitting the and manager. You got, and you got a big pool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, got a, you got a huge pool that you know. Mm -hmm. It's just again, be authentic who you are. Right. That's all it's about. Right. Sadly. You and Dang. you, Sally. That's a look. Sally, we gotta, but really, you need to I'm draw some, it, I'm some keeping jewels. it. I'm keeping the book on all my women who are of excellent standard, of excellent morals, beautiful, fine, sexy, all of the things that count. And you don't have a man at this point in life. It's it's, it's hard, but you can stay the course. Keep being authentic to yourself. Keep pedaling. Keep pedaling. Something's gonna pop, but at the end of the day, you gotta fall in love with yourself to the point where if it don't pop, you good either way. And I promise you, that's when it's gonna pop. Going mm. back to what I said earlier, you you can't lose your self value because we're 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 hunting, man. Always. We're hunting. If we see any sign of weakness, meaning losing your self value, mm -hmm. your core, your inner core, we see it. We oh, gotta that's know that's her weakness. You Let gotta me know strike. what you want. Yeah. You got to know what you want and know what you're going to take and what you're not going to put up with, right. you know, because if you don't, then like you said, men are hunters and they're, they're going to be They, I mean, and there are some women out there that are hunters. Too. Absolutely. You got to be aware of those. You know well. what I'm saying? She said she spoke on that. No, they, so, out there. they out there. And being who I was and who I still am, there's hunters hunting me. Like I'm like, if I used to hunt, I'm well, not, I ain't hunting so, nobody. Well, well, people, <laughs> there are women out there who will come at but us I to get us to fall off of where, wherever we had to do shit on and, purpose to get us. 
And that's just you got to be on that level. If you're not on that level, I'm sorry. But yeah. going back to the original question, in order to keep from being manipulated, that you have to stay to your inner core. You, you have to yeah. stay to your true self. You can't be manipulating the moment, yourself. Yes, thank you. You're going to manip yep. manipulate that's, yourself. That's the, moment right you, the moment you stray away from being mm -hmm. your authentic self, mm -hmm. you open... The you open yourself gates. up to you be open the floodgates for the for the yep, for the that's, that's how you, you gotta trapped. know you gotta know your worth. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, and you can't be afraid to speak up and At all. stand on business. That's it. Man. If somebody's violating your boundaries, then you have to speak up. You know, sometimes we as women we want to be in a relationship because I speak on behalf of the single women and. Me too, Queen. You want to be in a relationship and, you know, we say what we will tolerate and what we won't when we're just speaking in general like this. But then when you get into a situation, you're like, uh, uh, you know, you might tolerate a little bit more than you typically would because you like this person. But if your boundaries are being violated, that's when you got to stand up and say, hey, this is not in alignment. Right. Yeah. This is not in alignment with my values. So we're not compatible. I don't have a 72 hour rule, but I like what he's just like. I'm, yeah, I, I was gonna I ask him love that. That. Two hours, what if she show you a red flag? I then love what? that you, rule. You bro. give her some grace at that point. I gave this man too I, much. You, look. You, you get, you will hey, get he your said grace. you can't violate you once in 72 hours. No, man, because you can't, it's no real red flag. I like because that. I swear to God, I was a psychology major, man. People gonna show you who they are immediately. Then that they part. Start, then they start putting up shields as they start getting closer to you. So, if first three days. Once you fall in love, you, you know you hang out with me for three days. You're probably gonna be pretty much in love because I'm I'm gonna be I'm in love first day. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for I was always looking for love. Right. I was like I was always wanting that one to make me feel like a little kid again. I'm a kid, though. I love being a kid. in My spirit, like that's why I'm. You already said you emotional. You acting. Yeah, you, you, you gained it all. Maybe right. acting. Yeah, I, yeah. I play make believe in real life. Real life. Like, <laughs> at the end of the day, that's what that's why I've been able to live the, the my, my, my life as I've lived it because I've never been untrue to myself. Mm -hmm. And I tell everybody, be true to yourself. Right. And that's what I tell my kids all the time. You might lie to me. You might lie to your mom. You might lie to your girlfriend, your boyfriend at one point. But never lie to yourself. Right. And that's really where it comes from. I ain't lie to my boyfriend if you don't, either. If you don't want to be manipulated, don't manipulate yourself. I think, I think you see when I was flag, younger. You know, just saying, like, this ain't for me. I was always like, look, you insecure. We having sex. What's something you do to keep me around? Get pregnant on purpose to keep me around this month. I got That's a future I'm going for. I don't have time to get no. I was always focused. My focus on what I was wanting to do kept me away from people like that. Grace. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 don't do me like that. <laughs> kept me away. <laughs> don't do me like that. Get, you know what I'm saying? Let's get focused on. This is beautiful what you're building right here. This right. is amazing what you're doing. I've been watching you do your thing for a while now. You are you are growing exponentially. Focus on that. Because what's going to happen is you're going to find yourself in the room with the man who, who can handle you at all his levels. Yeah. He's been to, he's been to eight countries. You gonna, you can learn something from him. You need somebody you can learn from. Right. Absolutely. I ain't learning nothing. That's two yeah. more countries. You don't, no, that's, that's, you don't, you don't, that's the dime right yeah, there, bro. You don't need to find that's nobody it. you need to teach. You need to go find somebody that you're willing to learn under a little bit and get some. Because you've, you've been a lot of places. The man you meet that you can learn from is going to be the one you're going to love. She spoke on being a point guard. She's been leading her whole life. Yeah, it's time for you I just to want to be the shooting guard sit, at this point. Nah, it's time for you to sit on the pass 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 You know how to fall back and allow me to Listen, question. we be having a, a, a conversation Two. within an hour and something, you know? Listen, I play the fallback role. I play the, the leader role, and I play the you know what I don't give she a fuck. She gotta find role. somebody that has been two more. Countries. I think I think where these where I'm at right now, I'm in the um the leg stage. I'm just on what I'm on. And whoever gonna come on what I'm on, yeah. they on what I'm on, and yeah. we on the same thing. That's the way they always move. Yeah, and, that's, but that's it's how you gonna find them because you're not looking. You're but not looking anymore. But I'm gonna tell you, I was never them. looking. Hold on, they be on the kid. But I'm telling you, I was <laughs> never looking. Big trap. Um, they, you, you know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> the point I'm making is, well, regardless, yeah. I'm 37, okay. no kids, retired athlete, doing my thing, moving around. You feel me? So when I ran across it, I'm gonna be real. Like I told you, when I did that show, DMs going crazy. DMs, R and B, who, you name them, they in them. Before I'm making, I got on a show, DM going crazy. Man, they were still on the big, the biggest. Come on, Juice. But I'm sick of Juice. Look, the point I'm making is, when you get older, you start to decipher what's real and what's fake. And I'm not even just saying when you get over it, but when you retire. It's a whole different game when you retire. And I, and I, like I said, a lot of people don't transition correctly. I'm one of the people who transitioned off a of blessing because I always kept my relationships. I always did my thing. It was what it was. It is what it is. But I'm making a point to say for me, like, 
I, I, I made this promise to myself last summer, being real with you. Uh, if I go by myself, I'm cool. Mm-hmm. At this point, I probably don't want no kids. I'm cool with raising my two nephews because I felt like I was put on this earth to be a better, a bigger blessing. I feel like I was put on this earth to connect people. I feel like I was put on this earth to help people. So for me, I'm cool. Now, whoever come, come along with me being cool, it ain't no more like giving grace. I'm at a part where I'm over it. I'm tired of looking out for people that ain't looking out for me. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the end of it. That's the biggest, that's the big leg story. That's the story of the day. So now we're about to wrap this up. So look, we're going to play a game. It's called the game. I forgot the damn uh, bowl today. Bop, bop. So I'm a, oh, I didn't put it in the cup. Yeah, I forgot yeah. the bowl because I was looking at the you. question. So this is the game. That boy didn't do his thing. So look, I'm going to give you the cup. You got to pull something at the cup. It's for everybody. The person next to you, which is you, King, you got to read it to her. You got to answer it truthfully. Now, we got a couple of different types of liquors, brown, whites, everything in the back. <laughs> if you don't answer it truthfully, if you tell us you're not going to answer it truthfully, you got to take a shot. Ooh. I don't drink. I don't drink either. Uh, that's yeah. y'all business because I'm just telling you what, what the truth <laughs> so is. So I'm going to read this you, question? You're not going to read it. You're going to pull one and you're going to give it to Mr. Quran. Okay. Give it to him. And you're going to read it. Goodness gracious. How would your parents describe what you do? What kind of questions? No, nah, hell no. Nah. Give me another one. Ask, ask another that one. question. That was, what, what, uh, what Sam, question? what's up, man? These questions are simple. What, what, what that question? These no. supposed to be some deep questions. Yeah, that wasn't no, that that was that was a question. That could have been deep. We don't know. <laughs> she ain't answer it. What are, what, what's one thing that people are surprised to find out about you? Mm, mm. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. Come on, today, Chanel. <laughs> something that somebody is surprised to find out about me. Somebody is. Because I found out something a couple of days ago. I was like, damn. Can you tell me so I can say it? <laughs> I, I can't say it out loud. What is it? Oh, what you told me, I didn't know. No, I can't tell you. What you what? Go ahead, Queen. I don't know what a person would be surprised to find out about me. Chanel looks younger than what she appears. Oh, She's, yeah. That's that, might thought, be I, that surprised me. Yeah, I'll be 50 next month. Oh, Lord, black don't crack. It sure don't. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. You su- she surprised me. I said, what? I was like, what? Beautiful. It don't crack. Never, you better say never, it, girl. I would never came close to that take, take one. Take one. Okay, you oh, oh, I can't get good. Give it to Miss Juicy. Give it to Miss Juicy. Miss <laughs> Juicy, baby. You're supposed to read it. I'm supposed to read it. Let me see what this say. Talk to me, Juicy. <laughs> Talk nicely, Juicy. That part. What are you not good at? <laughs> I can't cook. <laughs> Trash. I, I mean, I mean, this is a boring topic because it's, it leaves no. I can't cook. Okay, um, what are you not good in the bedroom at? And Tell the truth. What am I not good in the bedroom at? Absolutely. They didn't say the bedroom. Oh, I'm telling you what I thought. I'm gonna tell you. I, I'm not gonna say I'm not good at this. I'm, I'm gonna talk my shit with Lex. Lex, no, I, I go all the way there. Um, well, I'm, I'm not, not gonna say I'm not good at this, but I can be better at foreplay. Mm. Okay. So you like to just go straight to it. I'm you not gonna like, say that. See, that's like I am, you feel like I am warm up. No, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm a four play guy, but I feel like my wife is just expecting more four play from me. You gotta get your, you gotta get yeah, your. Yeah, I gotta, together, I gotta, bro. yeah, I gotta get it together. Bam, bam, man. thank you, ma'am. No, so that's, you know, that, come from, that come from you manipulating women years ago yeah. and just getting what you want. Arm up. <laughs> no, so listen, be, listen. Trash. Being in a relationship seventeen years, being married ten years. We're talking about, we're not even talking about the the physical part of floor, foreplay at this point. Okay. We're talking about, I got to get my pajama game up. I got to get you my- You just trash all the way around. Yeah, I got I to gotta get it together, man. So she like that, that's what I, So you asked the question, pajamas. what can I do better? That's what I can do. And I'm I sure- say, what do 17 a, years got to do it, with it? It's going to be me and I hear this looking at this. That's going to be like, yeah, man, me too, bro. Like, I can't keep wearing them Christmas pajamas to bed, bro. Just don't like, wear yeah. nothing like I do. You know yeah. what I'm saying? 17 years, like you have to be an expert at it. What do 17 years got to do with it? Because no I was married for 15. I was together with mine for 18. Y'all the so what do 17 years got to do with it? It ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm just telling you how long I've been with my wife. Did you see raise her voice at you, child? I'm just letting yeah. you know what she I She did raise her voice, though. That motherfucker got a little hot in <laughs> <laughs> Now, so if you're going to ask me you that question, my, question my, my, my answer for that question is I got I got to get my full play game up. Man. I got to get it up, man. I know. 
Get it up. I'm, I'm 40 years old now. I got to get my four. For, for all y'all that's 40 years, get, get your four play game up. Here. <laughs> that's important, man. Okay, Chanel. Okay. Who would you like to play in a movie? Yeah, what's what's up? Come on, Sam. Make some more spicy. Uh, uh, oh, Yasu Ra is a script I wrote, which I will be playing him soon. So, uh oh. Um, yeah. Talk your shit, King. Yeah. Yeah. Say that name again. Yasu Ra. Yasu. Yeah. <laughs> Give it the big track. She just sound good. Miss Juicy Baby. Oh my goodness. What keeps you up at night? Shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Why you say that? What the hell? Yeah, that's the answer that thing. Shit. <laughs> and no, she don't know what keeps me up at night. You tell us. I asked you. Studying. For what? Oh, no. Come on, Juicy. <laughs> Give me a better For what? That's what keeps me up at night. Juicy, what y'all ass studying for? The word. The word. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Juicy line. She gotta take a shot. No, <laughs> Juicy line. She gotta take a shot. I <laughs> study all the time. Give her a shot of water. <laughs> What's your water. favorite podcaster right now? Oh, man, man give me another one, man. Try. I was your favorite podcast. Oh, try. <laughs> the reality table. <laughs> what makes you feel inspired or motivated? Ooh, that's a great one. Um, my parents. I want to retire them. Hopefully, in two years, they'll be retired. Mm, if I keep moving, one. what I'm doing. So, my sure. parents. Love that one. I lost my fun. mom in September, man. So, I, that was my goal too. I, and I, I want, that. I want everybody to hear this. Um, when when <clears> folks start getting <throat> older, they start repeating themselves a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, I know in 2010, my grandpa started repeating himself a lot. I was like, man, this man lost his mind. Like, Papa, stop calling me upstairs to go get some food. Boom, boom, boom. He told, he said something to me one night. He started mumbling, right? I went to Savannah. I had to go down there to play semi-pro. And I left in the middle of the night. And he said the same mumble jumble. I got to Savannah. He passed away. Mm -hmm. And then it sucks because I always tell people, give grace. And I play with that word a lot because it's, I really give grace for everything. Mm -hmm. Give grace when you're dealing with someone that's older or whoever you're dealing with because you don't know what they've been through that day. Mm -hmm. Inky Johnson, I, I listen to him every day. He speaks on this a lot. Mm -hmm. You can have a com I mean, you can have a conversation. I mean, you can have a conversation. You don't know what happened to me two hours ago of mm -hmm. why I might have came off aggressive, mm -hmm. why I was a little more, uh, you know, speaking a little more. But I always say when you deal with anybody, not to give them an excuse, but give them grace. And I've since my grandpa <clears throat> passed is why I go through what I go through, because I try to really gauge someone or try to feel like I'm, you know, getting to know them because I feel like I didn't give my grandpa grace. Mm -hmm. So that's 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 big legs right there. So you feel like you didn't give him grace because you didn't recognize the onset dementia? Because yeah, I felt like dementia. that he had been doing it the whole summer. I just thought the man was going crazy. I was like, man, Papa tripping. I got you. You know what I'm saying? And it's a person who be telling us we tripping. Yeah. But when somebody going through something, he didn't even know he was going through it. Mm -hmm. He said, I said, Papa, you just told me this last week. You tripping. This how we talk to each other. Baby girl, shut up. You tripping. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't know. So you don't know what you don't know. Yeah, everybody. So when I move yeah, and that goes into people, friendships, relationships, I give everyone grace. Because I felt like if the roles were reversed and I felt like they would do it to me, but I learned now like people aren't who how I am is not who someone else is. Right, right, right. But I, I'm I'm given a point to say, give grace. That's my, my uh story time with Lex, give grace, uh however you choose to move. So we're going to wrap this up. I love this conversation, man. I needed it to help me guide through next week of my life with Dayton in Atlanta. In Atlanta. <laughs> but um, we're going to wrap this up. I want y'all to tell, you know, where they can find y'all at, where y'all located. Keep this thing pushing. Miss Chanel. Which camera? Whichever uh, one you want, Queen. I'm Chanel Nicole Scott, and I am the creator of Ministry. You can find... Um, and uh, also the creator of Relationships Matter. And actually, I just want sure. to clarify, Relationships Matter is not a podcast. Relationships mm. Matter is a television show on In the Black Network. That okay, part for our content. Okay, now. Okay, now. <laughs> yeah, so you can find both of our shows on Relationships Matter Live and Ministry Live. And you can find me at Chanel Nicole Scott on all social media platforms. Mm. That was tough. <clears throat> Actor of the year, Mr. BET guy. Yeah, mine won't be as big as that. <laughs> uh, of course it will. <laughs> nope. I'm just Karan Joseph Riley. And my goal is to matter about three and introduce myself. So I got a lot more work to do. Hey man, he too humble. 
He's on BET, uh, the Black Hamptons, the number one show on BET right now. We got a guy named Tap in with my boy Karan. Keep pedaling. Y'all follow yeah. him on Keep Pedaling. Tell him, yeah. Karan. Yeah, yeah. Keep pedaling. I love, <laughs> I love introductions. I hate doing it myself. Oh. Okay, the queen. It's Miss Juicy Baby. The real Miss Juicy Baby dot com. You can follow me on everything, the real Miss Juicy Baby. That part. That, that part. part. Big truck. <laughs> I'm just a humble servant. <laughs> My name is DJ Williams. I go by Trap Fit. You guys can follow me at Trap Fit underscore DJ on all social media platforms. I am your favorite trainer's favorite trainer. Yeah, just like that. Tough. Just, just like, like that. that. The biggest. Big Lex. With my family here, man. I'm glad y'all came through. Glad y'all blessed me with y'all love, y'all time, y'all support. You, Queens and kings, I love y'all. The Reality Queen. Table. Alexia Queen. Adams 24 on Instagram. Tap in with The Reality Table. Follow us on all your social media platforms. We on Spotify. We on everything now. Come follow us. They're going to be back because I got more problems and we got to figure it out. <laughs> the Reality Table signing out. What you bring? Every conversation to phase in relationships We the topic of discussion What's the gossip who she love on? This tea get hotter when you touch it Forget about that he say and that she say Tell me what the streets say Got them tuned in, they running back Just like a DJ What you bring to the table?